Well, we will track more developments as far as this political slugfest is concerned. Meanwhile, we're shifting focus uh, to the fact that now two astronauts who've been stranded in space from nine months are all set to return to Earth. Yes, NASA and SpaceX are preparing for the return of the Crew-9 mission from the International Space Station, uh, targeting an earlier than expected touchdown on March 18th. This will allow Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore to end their nine-month-long space stay after being stranded due to technical difficulties in the Boeing Starliner. Um, the mission managers decided to aim for an earlier return than planned after evaluating weather conditions off of Florida's coast on March 16th with favorable conditions. Um, the revised date now allows the astronauts to complete their handover duties aboard the ISS while also offering a bit of flexibility in case weather conditions worsen later this week. Let's in fact take a look at who exactly is Sunita Williams. She's of course been, um, you know, the talk over the last couple of months. I have some information with me on my system here. I request the crew upstairs to showcase it. Uh, Sunita Williams was born on September 19, 1965 in Ohio in the United States of America. Her father, Deepak Pandya, was an Indian-American neuroscientist and mother, Ursuline Bonnie, was a Slovene-American. Uh, she received her BSc in Physical Science from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1987 and MSc in Engineering Management from Florida Institute of Technology in 1995. There's absolutely no reason to showcase the brandings on the side. Yes, let's take it full frame. Uh, Sunita Williams was commissioned in the U.S. Navy in May 1987, designated Naval Aviator in July 1989. Uh, then in January 1993, she was the officer in charge of detachment sent to Florida for hurricane Andrew relief operations. She logged more than 3,000 flight hours in more than 30 aircraft types and then retired uh, from the U.S. Navy in 2017. Uh, she was uh, an astronaut candidate and she began her training at the Johnson Space Center in August 1998. And of course, the very first launch to the ISS, uh, the International Space Station, was in December 2006 to join Expedition 14 crew. Uh, she ran the first marathon by any person in space on April 16, 2007. That's not all. In July 2015, she was announced as one of the first astronauts for U.S. commercial space flights. And uh, of course, she worked with Boeing and SpaceX. And as of uh, January 2025, she's made nine spacewalks, totaling 62 hours and six minutes. Uh, she is, of course, uh, uh, the first for the women and fourth overall for the most experienced spacewalkers as of January 2025. Uh, she's also amongst the top 30 astronauts for time in space statistics expected to be among the top 12 on return following the nine-month space stay. We all know how earlier uh, the Boeing Starliner, of course, malfunctioned and uh, then she and her partner in the Crew-9, Butch Wilmore, were stuck in space for their eight-day mission extended to nine months. Now, of course, they welcomed Crew-10 that of course uh, uh, docked in the ISS just yesterday itself. Really heartwarming visuals had come out earlier and now of course we're expecting her return. Shifting focus to more news and updates trickling in from the national capital.